Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris. I am here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we're just getting started up here this morning. It's been kind of a slower morning, <laughs> I have to admit. Kathy and I have both been slow to wake up. It's going on 10 o'clock and we're just getting up here to get rolling. Um, this is what we have going on today. There's, you'll see shoes everywhere. And by everywhere, I just mean freezing. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, it was super cold this morning, but it's going to get warmer later. So also, I'll just point it out. I did spill eggs on my shirt. See so that. if anyone sees that, I know it's there, but I don't no think it's noticeable. To my clothes, so. <laughs> so we've got some shoes that we're going to be taking care of. That's what we're working on this morning. What are you going to do? You going to be here for moral support? Look cute got some shoes over here so what these need like numbers and stuff taken off right yeah so that's like my kind of job so i don't mess up my don't nails. yeah don't want kathy <laughs> to mess up her nails because we like her nails to look good for the photos she takes photos true <laughs> and you know i've got these ugly meat hooks so <laughs> hers just look more appealing in the photos let us know do you guys think that really matters <laughs> do you uh i mean i don't think it matters if my nails are like painted but i do right sometimes i'll see a photo and be like with dirty nails yeah, or something like, it looks like or they just got back from garden untrimmed or, or like yeah then i'm like eh. <laughs> <laughs> so we try to be conscious of that what are these these i need to throw down into the wash so these are ones that need washed uh, these are those these are the bag file down there yeah lately kathy's actually been photographing right here which yeah. normally we photograph over there and then i just so like this is the background but then i white out the main picture with photo room yeah. the rest of the pictures i take so the this is the background of them so right i only white out the first one but we do have you know some decent lighting up above here so it works out well yeah. enough for that yeah. i got sick of moving that table back and forth yeah so Anyways, yeah, these three are just part of my 15 that are going to get photographed today. Got some Spanx. I need to throw these down to the laundry. These have all been... Yeah, these are the ones I listed yesterday. And we photographed need and everything. Them. So we, I need to bag these, and then we'll get putting these ones away. Yeah. And, and then, then, yeah. This is my last good little bag to type in. You want me to show you? Yeah. I showed sure. this stuff on my Instagram a few days ago, but... I know we have different people that watch here. So. Yeah. Cash flow, uh, always a good game to look out for. I don't really check the pieces or that much. Like I kind of scan specifically for this. Yeah. Occasionally something else might catch my eye, but I don't spend too much time in the um, kids de like toys department. Yeah, that's a cool one. It's, I haven't yeah. seen this one. This must be a newer one. I don't know, but yeah, like so pre-owned comps are still in the like 50 to 60 dollar plus shipping range this was six but minus 30 percent so like less than five dollars um five into 50 at least so. and we still have one over there yeah. <laughs> we have this this one which is uh i think it's an older version the reason i don't like games is because we have to go through make sure yeah this is there it's kind of a hassle so it is nice when we have them to batch together though kind of like makes a i guess it Maybe not. Maybe it makes the the difficulty of counting everything up <laughs> multiply, right? Because that's the worst part. Yeah. You got to do it on all of them. Uh, these all wash because they're a little dirty, but otherwise good shape. Just some Choco. These are our women's aid, I believe. Anyways, these are some camper shoes. Uh, let's see what it says. What are you? Size 40, so like a, probably like a nine. Those just need a little wipe down and on the rubber, but camper's a great brand. Just some Clarks, but really good shape. Wedges, these are a women's eight, probably will sell right around $30 for shipping. Got some a solo. These are a little dirty, but this is a great brand. Um, these were 17, but minus 30%, so maybe like 12 bucks or so. Those should sell for at least 50, I would say. Yeah. Even if I don't clean them up at all, I'll try to clean them up, I don't know. I'm not gonna put these in the washing machine. Right. Maybe just brush the suede and then wipe the rubber with like a wipey or something. 
some more Escada shoes. If you watched our last Thursday Live, I found a pair last week at this same location. And this week I found this pair, which this is a little bit, you might be able to get that back in place. But yeah, these were eight bucks minus 30%. So like five something, size 39 and a half. I don't know exactly what that is, but yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know what those are worth. The Scotta comps are like all over the place. And lastly, got some Echo shoes. Well, not lastly, got a couple clothes. Just a nice beige sneaker. Uh, yeah, these are size 40. So again, like a nine. And yeah, I got some Patagonia men's shorts. These are a size XL. Those should sell for at least like 30, maybe 35. Nice. Yeah. Um, these are Eddie Bauer, but they were only $3.99, and they were new a tag, which the retail says 60 but I don't think I'm going to get anywhere close to that. They're mm -hmm. size large. Really cute pattern. Um, there was another pair right next to it, just plain navy blue, new a tag as well, and they wanted $8.99, so they must have not, like, seen the tag on the inside of these when they were pricing Ooh, them. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, they would have priced them higher, so. Awesome. Sweet. And... Is just a tank top for Chris. And my first time finding chubbies. So in the wild, cool. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Used? Yeah, I've bought some like for our kids and for Chris, but I've never found them like at the thrift before. So five and a half inch inseam size XL. These are like the nicer kind. So the kind like my boys and stuff have are mesh insoles, but these are the ones that have the full built in like oh, yeah. underwear. So And is Chubby's bad. just a swim? Swimwear. Uh, I don't. I think they have clothing, maybe some like shirts, shirts and stuff, and stuff yeah. too. Yeah. So. Cool. So yeah, that's cool. Chris's shirt can go downstairs. <laughs> and yeah, that's. That's kind of what we're. It. Yeah, it's, it's kind of messy, but it's it's not that bad. If we can get all this stuff, which we should be able to, right? We should be able to yeah. sit down, knock it all out. We do plan on going to the gym later. Yeah, after lunchtime. Yeah, after lunch, so. But it's we all. We don't it's, have a ton of sales today yet, so like, I printed a couple last night, and maybe like two or three more came in, so we'll pull those in a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. So we're gonna get working on this stuff, and we'll check in throughout the day. But this is just a kind of a sit home. <laughs> grind out the work day it's nothing super cool or anything <laughs> right this is probably this is real life guys. yeah yeah this is Not the part the fun stuff this is the part of reselling that <laughs> maybe doesn't get highlighted too often the probably kind of why we weren't excited to get up today and <laughs> that's do it all. probably exactly it so Ugh. but hey we're gonna get working on it and we'll check back in in a little bit Are you gonna help us today reese you feeling good enough yeah all right oh, that was a fast kid. all right we'll be back all right, guys, we're back. We've uh, we've taken care of all the shoes. It yeah. was we even did a little bit more than what we had pulled out. Yeah, I photographed thirty because tomorrow we're kind of probably just gonna have like a thrift day. So yeah, um, yeah, that way I can still list and not worry about being here cleaning. Um, right, photographing them and stuff. So, yeah, it's like we were in the groove. We got in the flow. Yeah, took care of cleaning them, so there's no sense in just putting them here just to wait till tomorrow. Right. And yeah, Thursdays we're trying to turn into more of just a relaxing day. We do have our live shows right, on Thursday. Kind of, it's not really work because it's fun, like just being right. there. But like, since we do that, we don't want to do work all day and then do that too. So yeah, yeah. Thrifting, I guess, is work, but it's more like fun work. So yeah, Thursdays are going to be our hang out with each other, go thrifting, get lunch type day yeah so we're gonna well, try to be prepared for those kinds of days obviously i don't think every thursday is gonna work out that way but yeah it, it's really just a day that we picked because you know we have kids on the weekends and we love our kids and we spend time <laughs> with our kids but it's it's important to spend alone time together without the kids and without work so we're trying to be more <laughs> cautious con things. conscious just use our time better, yeah. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> Wh whatever that word I was thinking of. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyhow, our sales. Yeah, we're going to pull our sales. Again, are a lot of our 50% off items, which I'm not mad about because, honestly, I, I've mentioned I'm trying to do more shoes, and a lot of the stuff selling on the 50% off is closed, so it's getting it out of here. Mm -hmm. um, this was not 50% off. This is just something I just listed out of our kids' bin. Um, Under Armour, like a kid's golf short. But I don't know what I bought these for, but... Sold them for ten ninety five plus shipping. The waistband's like all twisted up inside and everything, so I think that's pretty good. 
with the twisted waistband, I still get $11 pre-owned. Disclosed, of course. Yeah. Anytime Kathy points okay. out like a, yeah, a flaw like or noticed. something, <laughs> it's something that she has noticed and does mention in the listings. Yeah. I think we had a comment one time asking if, um, or implying that we probably get a lot of returns because of that, <laughs> because you point stuff out. But we pointed out in the listing, right. so we don't <laughs> we don't get any returns for that kind of get stuff. Any so returns, so yeah. Um, especially kids clothes, people expect them to yeah. be in bad shape. I just get upset like if I buy something excellent condition and it yeah. comes in bad shape, but if I buy it in play condition and it comes in play condition, right. that's great. I feel like if anything, you're overcritical of your own yeah. stuff. You those are like honestly in perfect condition, other than the like elastic and the waist yeah. is slightly twisted, so. Anyhow, this other sale that I already pulled out was just because I needed to see if it fitted in, pat, in a padded flat rate, which it did. But it's just three of the Hurley shirts that I got at um, Retail Arbitrage. So I paid seven, seven, and five. So it's got 19. Yeah. Yep. But the bundle sold for $35.44 plus ship. Um, so I'm making about a $14, $15 profit on that. Flat rate. All right, boxy G. And actually, so I this one came in last night, but then another one came in just a few seconds ago. They hadn't paid yet, but I'll just grab it out now. So I have three of these. One okay. sold last night, 21 plus shipping. It's like a Nike. I mean, I would call it a fanny pack, but I think they called it a waist pack or something. <laughs> Fancier. Is fanny pack <laughs> one of those trademark terms? I don't know. Hopefully not. Like Kleenex I'm sure I wrote or whatever. It in my title. Right. Um, anyway, so this one sold for $21 plus shipping. I did pay 10 for it, retail arbitrage, so probably only like $7 profit. And this did go retail arbitrage, or not, <laughs> this did go global <laughs> shipping though, so like, okay. Um, I saw he was like all in like $48. I didn't check where to, where? but, and then this one also just sold for 21 so I sent offers to watchers and there was a couple different watchers, so looks like they both got one uh so this one hasn't paid but as soon as they do we'll check that out so yeah i mean if we made seven eight bucks each that's pretty good already and then yeah. i have one more left so that's the nice thing about retail arbitrage you're not making as much per i mean sometimes you do sometimes you make yeah. quite a bit per sale or per individual item but you get that you know one photograph the time it takes to do one and you're getting three times the items so I got my first offer ever on this express blazer and I just accepted twenty dollars. So nothing crazy and that's okay. This came from the bin, so I have a dollar eighty-four into it. It's in really good shape, so hopefully they like it. And I accepted twenty, so I'm making sixteen minus fees about fourteen something profit here. Okay. That is Poshmark, so we will put it in like a bag and bag then, in a box. Yeah. Oh, not a shoe box. Maybe like a regional B or something. Like this. Oh, yeah. But, That'll right. work. Did you guys notice the mailing boxes are like... Smaller. No, well, this one's bigger. Well, that's the older one. Are you sure? Because like, I feel like... Or is there two different sizes? Because this is almost the same size as a regional B. Which I don't usually use these hardly ever. But like... I the feel like there was I a... I liked was a little slimmer and smaller. Right. I mean, this will work out great for that jacket, but, like, <laughs> I liked the slimmer one for certain. We'll things. have to look at the numbers, because yeah. it should have... So, like, this is a 1095. There probably is another mailing box. So, 12 and a half, 3 and a quarter, 15. Let's see. Yeah, regional B. Where is your dimensions? 14 by 4, 3 by 6. So this one is a little bigger. Yeah, stuff. in all the directions. But there are smaller mailing boxes too, so. Yeah. All right, 8R. Yeah, we keep that out a little bit. And it was hard to fit them Yeah, all. keep them. We're trying to keep them out. I've got one over there with a little bit of space, but we're limited right now, so. <laughs> These It'll save us some time. Definitely are not gonna fit, so hopefully, <laughs> I'll have to work some magic sending offers or something. Uh, these are some towels. These did end up in the fifty percent off sale, so they sold for seventeen forty-seven plus shipping. I did pay six dollars for those. Okay, put 
Padded fabric. And lastly, the R. Nike flip flops from our recent Vince haul. So I typed in the Vince haul, but like I couldn't find the receipt. I need Chris to <laughs> probably just look at our bank account. I don't right. know why I put the receipt, but probably a dollar, maybe two dollars max into them. Sold them for $25 plus shipping on Mercari. So not bad at all. Let's see what they call the mailer. It is possible that I already Filed put the up. receipt away. Yeah. Because yeah. it took me over a month to <laughs> even get into that haul. I did just do, I, I, we keep our receipts over here and then I, I type them all in. Yeah. Thankfully we use the same debit card for like all of our. Yeah. Thrift purchases and I know what date I went, so it's easy to figure it out. But right. I just didn't yet. But yeah, it's never more than like $2 an item at the bins, so. Yeah, I'm kind of, yeah. I'm. I do kind of things weird as far as our receipts this year, just because that's how we use, that's how we do our mileage log. I do it based on the receipts. And uh, so like, usually I'll go back and recreate a whole log, which is the wrong way to do it. Don't do it that way. <laughs> do, you know, keep your miles as you go. But this year um, I've been, you know, logging all the receipts, uh, location and time so that I can map out Kathy's routes. It's it's probably in it. I know it's a lot easier to do it the other way. It's just, I've been doing it this way and I'm just going to finish this year this way. So I don't have to make any big changes, but that's, what's going out. We're going to get this stuff packed up. We do need to have lunch. It's about one o'clock. We're going to, we are going to go to the gym, um, eat lunch and then come back, get the kids. So I don't know. Are we going to have, we don't really have anything else to showcase today. Lame. Yeah. Today's kind of a boring day. So. Yeah. <laughs> So I think we'll uh, we'll just end it here. Um, That's what I just. Printed. Oh, the payment. Okay, so yeah, payment so just the came payment through. Payment just came through for that other Nike Fanny pack. So that'll go off so to the post happened. office too. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is a little bit earlier, but anything that does come in, we'll uh, probably ship just tomorrow. ship it out tomorrow. Um, because kids do have Taekwondo tonight, so this evening's going to be a little bit busy for us. So. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I think this one's going to be a little bit shorter than usual, but hey, that's just how it is. That's what we were working on today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support. Hit that thumbs up on your way out if you don't mind, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.